Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to some EU4. We are playing Byzantium. It's 1609, the 7th of August. We just got finished beating down the Commonwealth, you know, just kind of punching them in the butt. We are now moving soldiers down to the southeast so as to prepare to move them to kill rebels. We're then going to move them again to attack into the QQ and take a couple provinces here. We're going to be fighting in Circassia as well, hopefully getting them to annul their alliance with Russia. Uh, and additionally, we are going to be working on pushing back against the Mamluks because there are further claims that we could get onto their territory. But there's actually quite a lot of territory we can get. Oh yeah, what's this? Mine's added... My friend's like, anyone got any bread? Um, I really kind of wish I'd taken a few of these provinces. Then I could get a bit more claim stuff. That's alright. So let's get going. Got a lot of forts that we really don't need. And in terms of missions, the next mission I kind of want to get is... I do want to do the Austrian one. For the permanent claim on Venetia. That's intro you got there. We should have someone to destroy it. Nah, it's totally fine. Alright. So... Yeah, we want to get Northern Border, and then that gives us claim on Venice, and then we can get uh, Venice, which will give us actually no more claims. But we do already have a claim on Roma. So once we take Roma, although I have to complete Annihilate Venice first, I get a permanent claim on the rest of Italy, which is really spicy. Uh, any other claims? Recover Kaffa. That only gives Byzantine Kaffa trade power 35 in Crimea. That's fine, we don't care about that. We're still the Pentarchy. So yeah, the Pentarchy is very nice. And the permanent claims on Lombardy and all this is really spicy too. And then Rome reclaimed. Alright, cool. We're looking really good, guys. We have no more rivals that we can take except for Russia, unfortunately. And we're just kind of endlessly working on getting everything done as necessary. Rebels are pretty fine. Austria is now considered a great power. That's odd. How the hell did I make it? Oh, because the Commonwealth got no um, got knocked down. And so Austria climbed up, I suppose. That makes sense. I'm hoping... Can I, can I maybe rival them? No. Okay. Right. Let's take them away and go kill these... Oh, no, they killed them themselves! Good job, guys. Good job. So proud of you. Awesome. Um, we are short quite a bit of manpower, and now that gives an event to the owner of Venice that lowers development and gives you lots of money. Oh, nice. I don't really need money. Ooh, military ideas. 50 military power. And families left behind lose manpower, tax, or unrest. I don't, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> the thing that happens when you have a, basically a deficit of manpower, which I very much do. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go attack these guys right now. And they would call in Karakabar. And I don't... No, I will fight Karakabar and I can maybe knock out Ajam and just kind of make them give me things. That's okay. Um, they'll also call in Imerati. No, Gilan and Circassia. I don't care about I I Gilan, but I do want Circassia because then I can end their alliance. That would be nice. Right. Now, as I said, I don't really care about um, risks here. I have so much ma- I have so many soldiers, it just doesn't matter. Like, it just really doesn't matter. So we're just gonna be careful a bit. And start the war. And they will call in a jam. We can't call in Circassia, because then Russia will join. And we don't want that. Oh, look at that. Wait, what? I can call in Russia? Really? That's interesting. I'm surprised. Um, but I don't want to call in Russia, so that's fine. Holy War superior, Holy War superiority, etc., etc. Ah, AJM won't join. Ah, because it's a religious war. Okay. But yes, they don't give a crap about them. Ha 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 ha. Life is pain. Guaranteed by AJAM. Okay. Hollywood superiority. Let's go. Okay, and now we're at war with... Oh, AJAM has actually declined the, the war. Now that's just rude. Right there. That's just not friendly. Can I have access, please? Maybe. Wow. Not giving me access. That's... Extremely rude. 
I must say, very rude. Oh, I've got too many bloody generals, haven't I? Oh, no, I don't. No, I don't. It's fine. Yeah, not exactly a large army here, but it's going to be good to kind of just punch them a bit. There we are. Hello. One, two, three, four, five. Boop. Off you go. Get those little sieges. Reinforce speed bonus. Nice. Good. Now, I do really need to start getting to the point now where I start, um... Well, where I start kind of dropping more C stacks than I actually need. Sorry, when I start actually attacking properly. Because right now what I'm doing is I'm still only attacking one side at a time. I'm going to need to start truce breaking eventually. <laughs> oh no, my ruler died. It's a shame. 164. Fine. Fortification efforts. Yes. Oh, 126. He's awful. 126. Well, he's not the worst, but I guess he is average. Average. Yeah, pass. Bye. Bye, lot. Good. I could try and make someone an orthodox fate. Uh, get Defender of the Faith. That's quite good. All right. I don't even technologies. Um, I actually don't need Defender of Faith because it costs me, cost me points. Not really a lot of point doing it just yet. Yeah, get it. Point. Okay. A royal marriage offer from France. Yes, absolutely. Denmark and Bohemia are up for grabs, and they have quite a lot of people. He's also 42. Well, that's interesting. I would not mind getting that, but I don't think they're going to want me. Try to improve relations. Never know. Once he gets, maybe when he gets to 45, we'll see. Where's their army? That's the question. Oh, look, I found it. <laughs> okay. Stint seed stacks. Kind of just everywhere. Okay. Yes, manpower is a problem, but it's all right. I mean, look how much we get. We're fine. What's their tech? The tech's 13. I'm 17. Oh my god, that's horrible. You poor men. They're 14. Oh, okay. Ming is quite good. Three, it's 14. And it's 12. Buddy! Oh, I've never seen that before. Manpower, ducats are manpower. Nah, I like the money. Oh, hey, look, there's their army. I found it. Where are you going? Astrakhan? Beautiful. Oh, look at that. They actually do have an army. That's actually quite surprising. Wait for the little sieges to go away. Doing quite well. Oh, shit. Damn it. Gonna lose the... Gonna lose it. Monastery's flourish and age on Apple. Uh, gain patriarch authority. Thank you. Damn, my war score. Okay. Um, there's some naughty boys here. Where's my fleet? No way. There we are. Good boys. Oh no! Whoa, whoa! There he is. There it is. Ow. I'm probably going a little too fast. That's alright. Okay, there we go. Seeing you Baziod. Baziod. Oh, cause oh wait, QQ's over here as well. Ah, oh, I actually did not realise that. Hello. I'm here to kill you now. I mean, you guys have tech 15 and stuff. I've got tech 17. How do you think this is going to go? I mean, really. Honestly. Look at yourself. You're nothing. Brilliant. And when is the institution spreading? Global trade is on its way, so I will avoid going into Tech 15 just yet. I can indeed state some provinces. I was kind of waiting, but Upper Andalusia is very nice as a state, isn't it? He is a nice state. Yum, 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 yum. 
I'll save the rest for another time. Tell you what, I'll give uh, Malaga a seat. There you go. Have a seat, Malaga. Just for you. Oh, look at that. We killed them. Surprisingly, lost a couple ships, actually. Times of need uh, to Russia. I would love some manpower, if you don't mind. If you'd be so kind. Oh, look at that. They're just walking into me again. And I killed all of them. They literally all died. Broken promises. Wow. That's just rude. Can't believe you broke your promise. So mean. Uh, Mameluk Truce is up on 1612. So obviously I need to just kind of chain that together. I need to kind of start getting... Oh, I guess I can stop that now. So I'm... <laughs> At the moment, because I have so many people that I'm trying to annex, I'm really tempted to try and get a royal marriage with them. What if I was able to get the Holland Zone stuff? That'd be quite fun. It'd be my house. That would be cool. Oh, there's no point in getting a spy network now, is there? Because they're here. Try and get some more claims. How many do I need? Oh, I need 90. That's never going to happen. That's alright. Uh, do I have a claim onto Spain? I do not, but I can just return cause, so that's fine. I can return Sicily, and I can return all of Catalonia. Nice. Alright, so what do I actually want from this war? Obviously, I need to take my claims. And at the moment, that's actually it. First of all, we'll break away Circassia. They're going to end their alliance with Russia. And I want that to just be it, because I want to attack them in 1617, so as to take as many provinces as possible. Well, we're, you can't ally Russia, they claim they are successor to Rome. Indeed, I need to get rid of them at some point. I'm actually a monster if even considering it. So we'll end that with alliance with Circassia for starters. See, see. Great. And now for, now for this. So we only do get two here. And it causes a little bit of an owie. A owie. But no one actually cares. So I would rather just take them completely. How much does that get me? Again, no one actually seems to care. Yeah, no, no one actually cares. That's the line. Okay. As long as we know where the line is. Um, it would be quite nice to be able to get more claims onto a jam. So, I mean, there would be good, but here's good too. So, let's do that. Is that alright? That's actually fine, yeah. That's alright. Because that gets me a lot more claims onto a jam, and it's going to make it very easy. Take Builders in Van for the th uh, Triumph for Anatolia decision. That's not a bad idea, actually. So, it's Bitless and Van. Where is Van, my friend? Van. Nope, no Van here. Oh, it's right there. It's in front of me. That's all right. Um, we're then going to... Do they have any alliances? I would like to get some prestige. I'm going to get more from the Mamluk soon anyway, so it doesn't particularly matter. So, I mean, money's not really a problem. Yeah, I think I'd rather the prestige... So they'll remove the Mamluks as a rival, and then we can break it away, because that's going to get us tons of prestige. 20 prestige. Beautiful. A 2-4-3 named Irene. I'm going to name him Cornflakes, because he's a new regular on the chat. I think that's a cool name. <laughs> um, so it's actually... I think it's actually worse. Isn't that worse? Yeah, it's actually the same as 2, 4, 3. It kind of equalizes. Not great, to be honest. Uh, it's also his claim is average for some reason. Hmm. I'm not a fan. I'm probably going to disinherit him again. But we'll see. Oh. Come on, Denmark. Give me that claim. 
All right, you're not average. I'm great. Ah, oh, he's greedy. Nice. All right, there's the shiver and peace, and there it is. Great, and now we're just gonna take a bit of cash too. Perfect, so I don't wanna to take too much over there. That's fine. Boop. Importing food to combat famine, lose mercantilism, or gain unrest and then manpower modifier reduction. Oh, dear God. <laughs> appreciate it, but I mean, it doesn't really do any, unless, unless you're actively streaming, it doesn't really make a difference, but I do appreciate it. Um, then I kind of want to get the mercantilism, even though it's unpleasant for five years, it's still worth it. I think that was worthwhile. All right, cool. Um, still can't rival anyone, I believe, that I even want to rival, but we can get lots of spicy cores. And nice. Uh, what else can we do? Still can't get Triumph for Anatolia. We need Hissin Kefa. Which we don't have. I would quite like to be able to have uh, Triumph for Anatolia. I mean, it also gives me his army prestige and army tradition, which I don't actually need, to be honest. Hmm. What if I could start... Can I start having things? <laughs> can I have things, please? Right, now we're just going to turn that down. Turn down that rock and roll music, you loud kids. And just start moving some soldiers. Real. Move half of them down to there, and then half of them down to here. Perfect. And begin the attack. There we go. That'll help out the income. Denmark's still on its way. So yeah, can I get a trade port thing? That'd be kind of cool. I literally need a charter company. Calcut. The Celeste Calcut. You know I genuinely never do this. I I almost never do charter companies. Like I, I honestly don't even know what they are. Well a trade company is a collection of problems to trade company give them less tax, manpower, and sellers, but also more trade power and trade goods, including production income and they will force them it. Okay, no, so that's good. Yes. Da -da 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 -da. Each trade company region is to a trade. No, that's fine. And if you have expansion ideas, you can fabricate claims in any overseas province in a trade company region. Removing a province of trade company gives them left modifier, preventing them being added back and giving 200 goods produced. So it gives you lots of trade power and also institution spread and naval force limits. You get less tax. Not too bad. And if your trade company controls 31%, 51%, you get extra merchant. Funny, I've never really looked at this, to be honest. How interesting. I mean, I guess we just want to take whichever one is the best province then. Obviously, Portugal will always take Goa. But uh, Calicut's a natural harbour. Um, Tondanu is a pretty good one too. And Chell. You can't convert them. Ah, that's a point. I can't convert them. But you don't get any malices for the lack of conversion though, do you? How about, how about this one right here in Chell? Give me a, uh, give me a chill. No, they just, they just don't want to. Base reluctance. Come on. Wow, they really don't want to give that to me. All right, never mind. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, hard negotiators. Okay, and the truce with the Mamluks is up in November, so in about a year's time. So we get another year to just kind of get things together. Trading in silk, max promoter cultures. How nice. Promotes in cultures, but I don't really have enough culture to convert just yet. Fantastic. Lots of space to murder. The Papal State. My ally is requesting you come to aid in the Papal Conquest of Modena against Ferreira. Now, I don't think I want to do that. They are allied with France. I do not wish to fight. I'm very sorry, but I'm going to decline. Profiteering. Sure. Very sorry, but I'll declare war on you later. Because do I just need to own Rome to get that mission? 
Yeah, I just need to own Rome, but I have to get all this first before I can get the Eternal City, before I can get the rest of the claims. So I do kind of need to declare war on them. Sorry, sorry, people say it's going to abandon you eventually anyway. So it doesn't really make a difference. So that's going to slow me down quite a bit with this because my dip rep. Yeah, now it's 1618 because my diplomatic reputation is so bad. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, Christ, I forgot to cancel military access. Here we are. It's a bit better. Verdun have gone into a golden era. Great policy success. All right, that's it for this episode, guys. Give me, do be sure to leave a like and a comment on this video. Let me think the series so far. I'm going to continue to be. And in the next episode, we're going to attack into Mamluks. Bye-bye.